not sure if I can really get the only thing I noticed was the pre-snap penalties, which is, you know, just got to get that cleaned up. The delay game, I got to figure out what, what really happened there. I don't know if we were a little slow, either me calling it or relaying it in, or how, whatever happened there. We didn't change personnel. That was, that was, that was odd. And then, you know, we, we got to do a better job. I know, I know it was second group going against the ones, and they're trying to get a little bit of a jump. You know, you know Sam going against Robert Quinn, that's always a fun matchup for them. So, you know, we just got to – we got to do a better job of, of not losing five yards on a no play. When, uh, when you have pre-snap penalties with, with the first team anyway, could that be a Kilgore Tannehill new relationship thing in any way? No, because it hasn't been those two guys. It's usually a lot of times we're, you know we're, we're getting a little a little anxious on the edges. You know that's really that's really where we've had any kind of issues. The ones really haven't been an issue for us. You know, outside that delay game we had. I think really for us, it's just getting ready for Thursday. You know, the, going through the pregame warm up, getting in the stadium, and just all those little things. You don't want that to be the first time. The headsets, just everybody, the communication. You know, it's a little different because you're not going back to the bench and then going back out for another series. So it's kind of going a little quicker. But there's a lot of things that we can carry over to Thursday. Would you say the gas? Like it was working. What I mean, worse could you do? I don't know. We're just gonna have to fix it. We just have to focus and understand the cadence is 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 for us on offense to help us, you know, not to hurt us. So we just gotta hang in there. And we just gotta do a better job being consistent with it. What did you notice about Charles Harris? Well, he's he's a tough matchup. I mean, especially when on pass pass downs, I think the the thing that he's improved on, especially from last year to this year, and then through training camp, is his transition to a pass rush when it you know was first and second down. That's really kind of where rookies across the league will struggle. Always, you'll see that their pass disruption numbers aren't as good on first and second down because they're always thinking run, and then they have to transition to, to the pass pass rush. So I think he's really improved in that area, and then you can see he. He causes disruption, you know, especially if he gets a matchup where it's a tight end tackle trying to work with him. It's it's really tough if he wins off the ball. I, I don't think he had any confidence issues to begin with, so I mean, he's doing the same thing he always has done since he's been here. Are you still having a second team well done? Were you there? I want to say something, but I won't. All right. <laughs> what we did, yes, we did with the the twos and the threes that, that that last period we did. We went to the ground. How does this branch look a little different than that we felt with the series in the game? Maybe it was just more simple. I think for him, he he tried all season to fight through that, and he gave us everything he had. You know, I mean, his, his numbers. You know, he has one last sack. I think really where, where we where he struggled last year was he made a lot of plays that were away from him down the field for you know with extra effort. And last year I think it was just it was it was hard for him to get that burst that he always you know he showed the year before. I think now that he's healthy, we see it in practice every day. You know, with those there's eight guys rotating in there with that first group. You know, those when those guys are fresh, they it doesn't matter who's out there, they're tough to block. Yeah, I mean, he's ever since he's come back, and I mean, from spring to now, you know, I mean, he rehabbed extremely hard. You know, he, he's probably stronger than he's ever been. You spend that much time in the training room, in the weight room, that's going to happen. And you know, I know he's he's excited to get going and get in a real game, and you know, just kind of get the season rolling. That's hard for me to say, you know. I'm, I mean, after we get done watching this, then you know we'll have a better idea. And you know, if we have to shuffle things around, and you know, whether it be on offense or defense, even special teams, you know, Riz might see a couple things that maybe gives a guy a boost and give him a little more playing time in that Tampa game. What's, what's uh, Rob Ryan's 
he's just really kind of just taking in some ball. I know he's, you know, moving, like, working around probably a little bit of the country and dropping into some places where he knows people. And, you know, that's what, you know, coaches, when you're not with the team, you try to go to a couple places. Just, I mean, it's, it's learning. You're just trying to, you know, keep that, you know, the knowledge expanding and learning different things. And so when the next one comes around, you're, you're ready to go and you're, your mind's still on football. Just here visiting Joe, and you know a lot of us know us know him. What was so? What is the most impressive thing you saw today? I think it was good to see, you know, in that second group. You know, they made it tough on the the ends, made it tough on on the outside guys. I mean, I think they always do because really, we got them with the twos, but really they're ones. I think Brock just, you know, you can see. He's been around for a minute. You know, he likes being in this offense. It didn't seem real difficult for him to move the ball down the field. That was good. So I think I think Brandon Radcliffe did a good job as well. You know, had some had some good catches, had some good runs. You know, we just got to. You know, we need kind of our ones and and the, those guys that are really kind of locked in already. We need those guys to keep improving. That's going to be the biggest thing for us. Pick one of the pre-snap penalties. They all can go in the same same area. You guys done with me? <laughs>